California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name Ah, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Ah, I wanna run him through his hair But I'm trying not to stare, mm -mm. Hey everyone, welcome to my Sobe Kitchen Today we are gonna do a little bit of beauty chemistry Look at this, look at this, look at this. Um, it's going to be fun. I'm going to make the first of my uh, misters, uh, facial misters for the summer using products that we've created already here in my soapy kitchen. Um, if they aren't out yet, they will be out soon. Um, I'm just really getting excited. So we've got glycerites, we've got hydrosols, and we're going to put it all together here today to create a product that you can mist on your face during the summertime. Just put it in your purse and carry it around and uh, and it'll be super fun to use. Now um, you can thicken it up if you want to, um, if that makes it a little more portable for you. Um, there's a number of different things you can use for um, thickening. Methyl cellulose is one of my favorites. It does make it a little cloudy. There are a few more on the market and I'll show you that in a different upload. Today we're just going to make a basic, <laughs> as far as my basic products go, um, spritzer. So let's get started. Alrighty. Alright, so we're going to first and always keep your work surface perfectly sanitary. So we're sanitizing as we move, as I notice that things need to be sanitized again. So we're going to measure out the hydrosol. Now the hydrosol that I've prepared for you today is made with a lilac blossom. So California lilacs are in bloom this early summer and we are going to go ahead and start with that. Just add 100, 100 grams, which is perfect. Now I don't like to use more than 10% of my formulation in glycerin because I find it a little too tacky. Now we're going to do this in stages. Um, so I'm going to add next, I'm going to add the glycerin for a humectant. And this is a fig glycerite. And I haven't filtered it yet, but we're going to do that after. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put that in every little bit of that fig glycerite. And then I've got some banana glycerite. So we're gonna do bananas and figs. I'm really ready for summer, guys. And we've got about five grams in total. Five to, well actually it says seven here. So we got seven grams, which is still fine. Seven percent's not gonna to be too sticky. All right, so we can't have all those little floaties and we need a preservative. So I'm gonna add the preservative last actually. Um, so let's do a little cleanup here. We have a little extra distilled water if we need it. And the preservative I'm using is paraben DU. But even if we use a preservative, we have all of those botanic, um, all of those pieces of fruit, it's not going to be an okay or shelf stable product, even with preservative. So what we have to do is we have to filter it. So first, I'm going to just do a quick filter. Let's just move a few things out of the way. I'm going to need that back because I'm going to have to measure any loss when I do my preservative. So I'm just going to use this little mesh, which is equivalent to like a, um, if I had a, a bag for doing jellies. Not that great. Looks like I've gotten a few in there anyway, which is fine because I'm also going to use the um, oop, coffee coffee filter as well to clean up this product. You see, 
see why you have to measure again? So we got most of it, but most of it's not good enough, right? So let's get more of it out. California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are out, I just wanna shout his name Ah, oh, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips Ah, oh, I wanna run him through his hair But I'm trying not to stare, mm -mm. I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried Myself. Oh, my body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, I wanna run him through his hair But don't stare I get a little starstruck when I see him Okay, for this kind of product I'm going to use 0.8% of paraben DU Alright Just a Perfect. Alrighty. Alrighty, so I am going to put this right in there. Just gonna rinse it right off in there so we get every bit of it. We'll let that just kind of do that. Oops, and then I'll pour it in. In a titch, we're going to put just a drop of this fragrance. <laughs> I can get a drop. If this was in a dropper bottle, it would be easier. really don't want more than a drop. I just want the slightest scent profile in there. There we go. We got our drop. just to emulsify this a little bit. So again, a single drop equal to that of my... There we go. Just to sanitize and ready to go. Vinegar. Try this 
set, set spine, set. Vinegar can sometimes mess up the set. And we're gonna do a very basic pH test. Where are we sitting at? We're still sitting at about between a six and a seven. And we're just using this to lower the pH of our product here. And vitamin C is really good for the skin. this couple drops of time. Pull out a few of these. You don't want to go too far. I'm going to break them into threes. All right, I am ready to go. Oh, it's 10 too? Okay, just give me a sec. what's going on in there. I'll do tests with this one. Um, biological tests with this one and we'll do application tests with this one. And where is the top? Oh, here we go. Label everything up. And this is a really great emollient sun moisturizer made with figs and bananas and <laughs> vitamin C and kojic acid in the rice wine vinegar and lilac -like hydrosol. How fun is that? All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye for now. California weather, it's like 90 degrees It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel My insides are